Today you join me in Michigan for the first look at Chevy's brand new ZR2 Bison. This is the top dog off-road truck with 35s. So let's walk around it and see everything that is new about this new Bison. Right now the midsize truck market is heating up as we have all seen and the Chevy Colorado is not going to fall behind. Of course, we just saw the reveal of the 405 horsepower Ranger Raptor as well as the TRD Pro version of the Tacoma which as a hybrid makes 465 pound-feet of torque. So the Chevy Colorados have to do a lot to compete. Bigger is better. Listen. If you've been injured in an accident, consider going big. With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. They have 100 offices nationwide and over 800 local lawyers to take care of your case. Bigger is more convenient. Submitting a claim for an injury doesn't have to be a stuffy process. In eight clicks or less on your phone, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. Now that's convenient. Bigger is easier. If you're in an accident, make sure you're okay. Make sure you get a police report. Make sure you contact your insurance company and make sure you get legal representation. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. Eight clicks or less and done. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash TFL or dial pound law. That's pound 529. Of course, this is based on the regular ZR2 version of the truck, but there are a lot of differences that take this a step further. And the first one that you notice walking up to it are these tires. So these are Goodyear Wrangler Territory MTs, but what's special about them is the size. This is a 31570R17, as Andre saw when he got a chance to walk around one of the camouflage prototype trucks which from what they tell me was probably that truck right there. Now, that tire size equates to basically a 34.4, or as most people would say, a 35. And that is the reason that you see this spare tire here mounted in the bed, because underneath the truck, you're not gonna have room for that much tire. It does take up some space in the bed, but from what the folks at GM say, you should still be able to put either a bed cap or a sport bar on this truck. Now, one of the other things that they've had to do to make these tires fit are actually some changes here to the fender flares. So not only do these fender flares stick out further, but they're actually clearanced further back to make room for these big bad tires. And the track width on this truck is about an inch wider than it is on just a standard ZR2. This truck also sits about a half inch taller than the standard ZR2, which would be easier to see here on this model. That's not flexing on a rock. Now, one of the other things that you'll notice about these trucks from the outside are the AEV bumpers. Walk around to the back and show you this one here. There we go, there's the steel can see as well AEV badging. Another thing about these bumpers is that they are also winch capable and Chevrolet is planning to sell a winch that you can add to this bumper. But one of the other things that makes these AEV trucks special are the skid plates. So these are the Boron steel skid plates. There are five of them going all the way back to the rear differential. And these Boron steel skid plates, it's an AEV design and that allows them to be thinner while still maintaining a lot of strength. Also for underbody protection, we have these rock sliders here, and that is the same basic rock slider that you're going to get on a standard ZR2. So still a lot of the same features that you get on the ZR2, but taken to the next level, the same is true here with the interior. So of course we have front and rear lockers as you would expect, and most of the interior is the same, although you do have a few extra AEV adornments, but otherwise it's the same pretty good interior that we already had on the regular ZR2. Of course, one of the best features on any of the ZR2 models are these Multimatic DSSV shocks that have been impressive in every application that they've been in so far. 
but the bison takes it a step further because we have these hydraulic bump stops right here that are matched to the shocks and this is a really impressive piece of kit to have on a truck that is meant to do high speed running there you can see it on the back but if we walk forward you can see it here on the front suspension as well so it's some really really incredible components that have gone into this you can also see these cast iron control arms down here that is carried over from the regular zr2 and then a few other features that are carried over from other models you do have these underbody cameras so this gives you a view of what you're driving over both front and rear and even though there's additional skid plates here they've designed the skid plate in such a way that it doesn't interfere with the camera's view these special aev wheels here on the bison are also beadlock capable so you can buy a ring to make this into a beadlock wheel under the hood this truck will feature the same 2.7 liter inline four that we've seen on other colorado models and eight speed transmission with up to 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque so that is unchanged and while that is less than some of its competition again there are a lot of things that chevrolet is bringing to battle here specifically these 35s in the suspension that make this one of if not the most capable mid-sized trucks coming out something else i didn't notice uh, until one of the other journalists actually pointed it out is that this little decal on the back is a bunch of chevy bowtie logos strung together highlighting where it says chevrolet here stamped into the tailgate that is a cool bit of design for comparison here we have a standard zr2 version of the colorado and a couple key differences just to point out between the truck we've been looking at so for one like we talked about the tire size still goodyear wranglers however 285 70 r17s instead of the big 315s that we have on the bison you've also got aluminum skid plates and only three of them instead of the boron steel and then of course very different front ends when you're comparing this standard zr2 to the aev bumpers and the front end that's on the bison and then if we cruise around to the back it's a little easier to see that we still have multimatic shocks here but you don't have the hydraulic bump stops that the bison gets you so that's another major difference of course the rear bumper also different and this truck has the spare tire mounted underneath so a little bit more utility since the bed is open here those are some key differences when it comes to off-road capability but like we looked at the interior is largely the same now of course if you want to maximize your utility this is not going to be the truck to do it because you do have the spare tire here in the bed taking up a decent amount of space although not a ridiculous amount of space like some other trucks that mount their spare tires in the bed and then two partly because of this off-road suspension and i'm sure because of the tire diameter your tow rating is not going to be as high so a standard zr2 is going to be 6,000 pounds of towing instead of 7700 like a lot of other colorado models and then this zr2 bison should be around 5900 pounds of towing so not a huge penalty here for the bison versus the standard zr2 but it is worth keeping in mind that if you want to maximize your utility your towing figures your payload this is not going to be the truck for that and you would be better served with something like the trail boss that andre has where you get still a bit of off-road capability but not so much that it takes away from the utility however in comparing something like the trail boss that andre just bought against this bison there really is no comparison these two trucks are very very capable with their selectable lockers 35 inch tires and everything else that comes with this package so let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think how is this going to stack up against the ranger raptor and the new trd pro tacoma and we'll catch you all in the next video